we have another pick in at number 83, and it's another LSU Tiger, the ninth LSU Tiger taken in this draft, and it's Lloyd Cushenberry, the third offensive lineman, the center. Some called him the MVP of that team for what he did in the locker room. Yeah, no, this is an offensive line that, that's going to have a, a lot of guys drafted. City Charles, the left tackle, hasn't been taken yet. Had some kind of baggage, some things off the field, but Damian Lewis, the left guard, has been taken. Cushenberry now, Charles eventually. Uh, he, he was really the kind of center of it all. When you look at their offense and how it operated, helping to get them line up he was solid he, he, and for a guy who's six foot three he bends well has good flexibility is able to climb up to the second level and cover up linebackers so this wasn't necessarily a, a huge need for Denver however I, it does provide depth and a future starter on the offensive line with the best offensive line coach and Mike Munchak in Denver great character you look for this in a, in a center you know the the kind of the quarterback of the offensive line he's got great character I think he's a smart football player he's gonna work his tail off I think there's value here uh, for the Denver Broncos and I think they're gonna get somebody who can come Come in and contribute right away. Again, we, you know, I think there's a theme here. You know, the young quarterbacks, you've either given them weapons or you've tried to shore up the protection in front of them, which is a brilliant game plan uh, if you're going to build around and try to put these young quarterbacks in a position to succeed. Drew Locke, they've already given him some weapons. Now they're trying to get the offensive line to make sure he has time to deliver the football down the field. So I love the plans that are in place for a lot of these young quarterbacks around the league. Pete Prisco, what do you think of uh, Cushenberry going to the Denver Broncos? I like Christian Berry. He was one of the guys I it really stood out to me when I watched the tape. And Brady mentioned the other one, uh, Charles, the left tackle. I think he'll go somewhere in this grouping, too. The thing about Christian Berry is, remember, the Broncos uh, signed Graham Glasgow. So what do, where do they play him? He's played both guard and center. So I do think there's a chance that he could end up being one of their guys that steps in and plays right away if they make the move uh, from Glasgow over to guard again. So good pick. Broncos are having a good draft. Uh, you know, it, it, And now we just saw... Uh, this last pick that just went, uh, you know, when you see an offensive lineman going to solidify the middle of the field and help the young quarterback, that makes sense. But now he got the receivers as well. Hey, look, John Elway's taking a lot of criticism. If Drew Locke is what some people think he's going to be, and I think he's going to be good, then John Elway will get off the, the uh, bad spot for a lot of people who criticize the heck out of him. Well, it's taking him enough opportunities. I mean, how many cracks he's taking the quarterback <laughs> position? I mean, come on, Pete. Uh, no, uh, but I will say, too, remember what he did last year, Drew Locke. Everybody thought he was going to be the first rounder, and the Broncos had it out. Then they traded back twice and got him in the second round, and he still got his guy, and then he played really well, you know, in the back end of the season. So I'm with Pete. Maybe this is that one. Peyton Manning's hard to screw up. That was an easy one. He brings him in there. <laughs> but the Paxton Lynch was a disaster. Flacco was a disaster. I mean, there's a, there's a there's long a number list. In between, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Chad Kelly. <laughs> hey, but you guys forget, he gets bonus points for bringing Peyton Manning in. It's the only way he could have got rid of Tim Tebow. <laughs> yes, that's I mean, true. Come on, that's, he gets bonus points for that. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.